Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about zodiac or astrological sign compatibility between Scorpio and Pisces. And yes, it does apply and pertain to the sun, moon, and ascendant for both people. Well, anyway, they are trying by sign. This is very compatible. Uh, they're both feminine signs, which suggests introversion. Uh, they are both water signs. They both could be very sensitive, emotional, uh, feel very deeply. Pisces can be empathic. Scorpio can be intuitive and see to the very depths of a situation or person. Scorpio uh, is a sign which can have very penetrating insight. And I think when you have these two people, they could really admire these qualities because in each other because they're very similar uh, this way. And Pisces can often be strongly about um, introversion. And Scorpio can really be enamored with solitude and seclusion. Pisces uh, likes to have their privacy as well. Uh, they like they like to kind of go drift into their own world sometimes, which can often be at home, which could be a refuge for them, where it's kind of escape from the outside world. And with Pisces, um, they can often go into like a fantasy book or novel or fiction novel and or perhaps uh, some movie or something. It could be a video or a computer game. And, and they, they do, they like to, to have their solitude for different reasons. And both these people can be very privacy oriented. And, and they generally, I, I see these two as respecting uh, that in each other. And uh, these people are generally not out for real wild or loud boisterous type parties. They're not overly extroverted. Now, you look at these uh, two people as well, and I think what's interesting is that you could really, whether this is a significant other, romantic, sexual, or, or platonic friendship, these people can really do well together, perhaps in some kind of astrological or metaphysical thing that they could collaborate on, or even like you, you hear about these psychic detectives and uh, Pisces can have that strong empathic ability, may even be mediumistic. And you have um, you have uh, Scorpio, which could be very intuitive as well. The thing about this, though, we have to understand is when you look at these two, even when you have signs that could be very exceptionally compatible, like Scorpio and Pisces, you could still have some uh, d disparity between the two. I mean, you look at Scorpio as fixed, and Scorpio could be very willful and resolute and generally will not, often will not give in. They could be very uncompromising and intractable. Pisces is, is a mutable sign. They're generally very adaptable and pliable. Pisces will often, if there is a dispute that takes place between these two people, Pisces would often be the one that would cave in. Pat Pisces can be rather at times timid and, and submissive. But Scorpio is a little bit more of the would more of the aggressor on average. And don't forget that Scorpio is ruled not just by Pluto but by Mars as well. Scorpio could be a little bit more action or oriented than Pisces. Scorpio can help Pisces uh, start, get, get a lot of their, the plethora of their dreams going and execute on them and actually start them and, and maybe even help see them to fruition and help consummate them, so to speak, and finish the, you know, finish the, the deal as well with these plans. And Scorpio, though, it, it being the fixed sign, can be somewhat domineering. And Pisces is really, I mean, as far as that submissive role, so to speak, they can they could readily take on this role in the, in the relationship. But even but at, at some point, Pi Pisces might feel like like Scorpio might be too confining and, and overly maybe overly possessive, and, and really and, and may feel that Scorpio might be somewhat restricting Pisces to some degree. And I think that that's something you have to look at. Another thing too is. And in the worst extremes, uh, Scorpio, in, in isolated cases, you may have Scorpio and, and Pisces can resort to certain negative tactics as far as Scorpio is, is can be about manipulation and Pisces can be about deception. So those are some things to look at if these two people really get into a, a, a big battle like as far as a dispute or something. And 
the thing is too is that you look at this and that it Pisces that the thing about it though is Scorpio has the ability to see through a subterfuge or duplicity and Pi if Pisces is being deceptive towards Scorpio Scorpio will figure this out uh, very quickly and and Pisces can have start strong intuition and they could at some point I think figure out if Scorpio is doing it is something that what they, they what they feel they shouldn't be doing or hiding something that shouldn't be uh, hidden now despite Pisces often being very trusting though now the thing is in the bedroom so to speak well you this could be a good combination as well because Scorpio can take uh, Pisces it could could really be about fantasizing and, and, and very idealistic and Scorpio can be very erotic and sexual and can help Pisces fulfill that the sexual fantasies and then you have uh, Pisces can do the same uh, for Scorpio and Pisces can be strongly about sensation and Scorpio can be very sexual so you do have a very good uh, combination as far as this goes and both and they can have that strong uh, deep as far as the, the emotional uh, connection and, and rapport in the as far as the bedroom goes so it's also important to look at the aspect if any that is made between the energies of these people as this could indicate as to whether or not there, there may be better compatibility than otherwise indicated or perhaps not as much now in many cases you will have a trine aspect take place between the energies of these people let's say for example one person has the Sun moon or ascendant in Scorpio at 12 degrees and the other person has the Sun moon or ascendant in Pisces at 10 degrees well that would form a trine aspect and that could be considered positive or auspicious they're already trine by sign but if you have the the trine aspect in addition to it this could even give perhaps better harmony and better compatibility than otherwise indicated as this could be a very good and flowing aspect now however you could also have an out of sign square aspect take place between the energies of these people let's say for example one person has the sun moon or ascendant in Scorpio at 29 degrees and the other person has the sun moon or ascendant in Pisces at 2 degrees well that would form a square out of sign square aspect which could be adverse or adversarial and you might have a little bit more conflict and more challenges in this a relationship than otherwise indicated however you still have to factor into the equation that they are still trying by sign so you still have the basic compatibility that would exist between them now you could also have an out of sign in conjunct aspect take place between the energies of these people let's say for example one person has the Sun moon or ascendant in Scorpio at one degree and the other person has the Sun moon or ascendant in Pisces at 28 degrees well that would form an out of sign in conjunct aspect which I see as adverse or adversarial it's an it's about in conjuncts are often about adjustments and really uh, you got to factor in okay that they are still trying by sign they are still uh, compatible as far as the general interpretation goes for these two however with the in conjunct aspect you might have a uh, a few more disparities or a, f a few more adjustments than otherwise indicated because as I stated before in conjuncts are often about adjustments uh, in relationships so anyway people that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for zodiac sign compatibility between Scorpio and Pisces and stay tuned next time where I'll be talking about zodiac sign compatibility between Sagittarius and another Sagittarius two things I want to get with you on before I head out firstly the stars may impel but do not compel and secondly never isolate any single astrological element aspect planetary placement position configuration influence or what have you and make an analysis of a person astrologically speaking based on this alone because astrologically speaking the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one until next time people stay well